Okay, I am back. I have cookies lined up. Zombie Dog is sitting right next to me, anxious. Hey, Zombie Dog. How about uh, a little baby elephant for Zombie Dog? There you go, buddy. <laughs> All right, so I'll keep feeding Zombie Dog here while I check back through chat. I saw a few things pop up here. Um... Bionic patient starts with leukocyte. I know, I remember one of them does. Oh, I guess I should, uh, we'll put up the, um, the zombie dog guarding the back door pick while I feed the zombie dog. All right. There you go, you big doorstop. <clears throat> What's next? Gorilla. Big old gorilla. You really like the game's ambient soundtracks? Uh, depends on what sound pack you got installed. It's not really so much the game in general as whatever sound pack author you're using. And uh, last cookie! Uh, what is that? Koala bear. There you go, buddy. Can get some more a little bit later. All right, five cookies down. <clears throat> Make sure I get everything reset here. Goodbye, zombie dog picture. Um, where was that question? Um, current default monster evolution factor is four. Did you set yours to half that? Yeah, yeah. That's what the uh, the evolution setting in that settings command is. Evolution is two point double speed. Let me make sure. Sometimes when I update those from memory, as I change settings in the in the game world, so yeah, right there, scaling factor two. But I also did a cataclysm occurs on day forty-five, and then I started fifteen days later. So we still had the day sixty-one start, forty-five plus fifteen. But um, evolution had fifteen days to occur at double speed, so. It's still not quite working out the way I expected, because <laughs> that's still only 30 days, and usually it's 60 days before I see enemy zombies, but whatever. There was actually a problem with the evolution and how it worked, um, so I wasn't crazy all those times. I kept saying, I just can't get these things to make sense in uh, when I'm going to see evolved zombies, and that's because it was broke for a long time, so it just recently got fixed. Um, I'm, now I'm retesting and refiddling to find my sweet spot, but uh, yeah. If you're not aware, Monster Evolution Scaling Factor, lower is faster evolution. So by cutting evolution in half, the number, from 4 to 2, I sped up evolution factor. It's basically the time uh, in between uh, evolutions. So the lower the number, the faster you get uh, upgraded zombies. So if you want to slow down evolution, make the number bigger. Make it like 8.0 if you want uh, a long time between uh, before evolved zombies start showing up. Um, <clears throat> he's not going to get fat on animal crackers. <laughs> the five cookies I just handed him are like. 50 calories. <laughs> he has to walk up about 30 steps <laughs> just to come up and get his uh, his his calories. <laughs> so I'm not too concerned about uh, uh, five to ten animal crackers <laughs> porking out my my poor zombie dog. We'll be okay. All right. Um. No, you're not the only one crazy kid. I used chest toll for the first six months, nine months of my Cataclysm. Both the, uh, the sound pack and the uh, the graphics. I used chest toll 32 and uh, the chest toll sound pack. So I've been using uh, some dead guys for quite a while now. And uh, now for the sound effects, of course, I'm using the uh, ATS variation on the 2CH sound pack as well as the uh, Coag music. I like the coag background music quite a lot. All right, um, are we ready to get back to work here?
What were we doing? We just... Oh, I haven't slept yet. I was about to go to sleep. That's what was going on. Alright, so... Only a couple of hours have gone by, so we'll just leave this. We're going to get woken up constantly if it goes bad before we... Actually, I'm going to... I'm going to push into... This is a situation where it's actually, I think, to my advantage to push into Dead Tired. Because otherwise... I might only get an hour or two of sleep, the tired status goes away, and then it's almost impossible for me to get back to sleep because of the constant interruptions that we get. So I think I'd rather stick this out for a bit. So let's grab, um, let's grab something to read real quick. Let's keep working on that first aid. Push this a little bit further. <sighs> Love it when I get just acid, 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 acid. Uh, no. Whoop! <laughs> I'm not intending to fall asleep, damn it. <laughs> Hit the wrong, wrong hotkey there. There we go. Dead tired. Uh, stop reading. We're at 94%. Now nah, keep reading. Finish this level. All right. First aid five after a million interrupts. Now we're going to try to sleep. Go with some more makeshift bandages reapplied. And... I think I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm, I'm going to keep saving up if I can. So we'll, uh, we'll just go with that. As long as I can stay four bars or above, I'm going to call it good. And as we keep dropping our weight levels and our, our health stat, well, I think pretty soon the, the Leaky Bionic is going to start becoming the, or yeah, the Leaky Bionic is going to continue to be the, uh, or move back into being the problem status. Have we gotten any new uh, new things? Uh, I don't think we've gotten a new one since the junk food intolerance. But again, not much of that time gone. has gone by. <laughs> Just instantly wake up. Damn it, I hate anything that makes me hit my interface over and over and over again. Right, this, this is so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Uh, take some Thorazine, which does damn near nothing. Try again. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I think of anything the uh the bandaging the, the just the boiled bandages are just barely holding us even. sleeping process is so annoying. Now we're into the part where I can't fall asleep again. And we just constantly get interrupted. Come on. Get one good... Nope. <laughs> Acid discharge right at the end. Um, uh, 1141. Daytime. Moon has gotten just a tad. A little tiny bit fuller. Alright, fine. Yeah. Let's just keep doing this for now. Yeah, it's just really hard to get time to go by when you've got uh, the bad bionics. My only issue with the whole process, really, is just the non-stop interrupts in response to messages. It just takes so many key presses to uh, work through all the messaging and interrupts and restarts and so on. 
Oh, stop trying to go to sleep, damn it. <laughs> Keep it in the wrong damn... Wrong damn key. That's a bit of damage. Now we're, we're, we're losing ground here. Might have to slather on some antiseptic, fine. Fired again. We made it to, uh, to what? Six. All right, so we got two levels to go. We got leaves pretty early in this evening's broadcast. All right, dead entirety. <laughs> this time, I think we're going to throw on antiseptic as well. Got four. Yeah, look at all that damage this time. All right, we're going to do a mix. We'll do a uh, regular bandage for the head. Regular bandage for the torso. That's the most important. And everything else. I got to get these numbers back up. We're sliding. I did an extra regular bandage. That's fine. And let's use antiseptic out. Hopefully between the two, <clears throat> it'll punch these all back up to a decent number here. I just don't want to do this too often because I do have limited Limited uh, supplies. All right, still got the earplugs in, and go ahead and take another hit of Thorazine. I'm trying to remember if any of the drugs help with the uh, the itching. I don't think diazepam does. That's for seizures, muscle spasms, panic attacks. I can't remember if there's one specifically for the itching. Tramadol is just a painkiller. Yeah, I mean, look at that healing difference. <clears throat> Part of that is also that we've increased our first aid skill. Last attempt. And <laughs> we managed to get sleep, instantly woken up again. Come on, give me one more good sleep cycle. Alright, never mind. Alright, we're getting pretty close to a full moon. We might have the full bonus now, and it's uh it might be dark. Let's pop upstairs and see what kind of a night vision bonus. Maybe it's time to make our suicide charge into town. Uh, the default spawn rate scaling factor, uh, 0.1. It's 0 0.1. <laughs> I don't know why they picked that. You, don't, you almost never, ever, 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 ever see an NPC at that rate. That's the default, 0 0.1. It's been that way for a long time. All right, let's pop upstairs and see how the night vision looks. I'm losing map memory while sitting here, really. Still nothing new. 
Alright, so we've got what range? 18. So 23 is the max, so we're at 18 out of 23. Um, my squeaky ankles, when I move, make it uh, make things pretty loud. Let me take off the um, earplugs. So you can see the sound is 12. That's because of my squeaky ankles. So we're loud. We make a lot of noise when we move around. So anything within 12, which is two-thirds of the way out to the edge of the uh, vision range, will hear me as I'm walking along. So this <laughs> is my noise range. That's why I'm really fearful about trying to go into town. Um, because it's just really hard to avoid anything, even with good vision. Uh, it's hard to find gaps, especially with double zombies in a city setting that you can kind of sneak through when you're making that much noise. Now, in combination with that, uh, and even worse, is that we also have the Noisemaker CBM. Uh, do somewhere in here. There it is. The Noisemaker. Malfunction Bionic occasionally emits a loud burst of noise. So basically I just shout randomly. Very loud. And uh, that'll also bring things to me when I don't want them to. So that's my worry. Trying to go into town um, without really good gear. We're still just in regular army gear. And not being particularly fast to move or have stamina bonuses and so on. Makes this a pretty big, pretty dangerous deal. So, <clears throat> yeah. So we have all the bad bionics. That's just part of the uh, the prototype cyborg start. Uh, oops. So everything from A down to R. These are all bad bionics. The only good ones are we have the alloy plating, which is a couple of points of uh, bash cut protection, protective eye lenses, fingertip razors, and the joint torsion ratchet. That's it. Otherwise, we're suffering various negative effects from all of these negative bionics. Leaky Bionic is poisoning our hidden health stat. The uh, acid discharge is constantly doing damage to my entire body. Uh, the itchy metal thing is making me scratch myself, constantly interrupting actions and waking me up and so on. The Noisemaker, you know, a lot of them just increase my, my encumbrance. That's where a lot of this encumbrance is coming from. It's not the gear I'm wearing, it's just the bad bionics giving uh, encumbrance. So, it's bad. I need to get them out. But in order to get them out successfully, I need to have uh, as high as intelligence as I can manage, which I can't do much to increase my intelligence anymore since the drug nerfs. And um, other than that, it's first aid skill, electronics, and computers. So, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get my first aid skill up. That's the primary trait and uh, our skill. And we'll see. We'll see what kind of values we get before we make our first attempts. If I can just get the acid discharge and the itchy metal thing out, those two are the ones I'm most interested in getting out. That will eliminate 90% of the constant interrupts and the damage and so on. Leaky Bionic? Eh. I'm so used to having really stupid bad health stat that uh, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, especially since we're still obese and we've got a cap on our health anyway. But... I think I'm gonna wait out one more night. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wait for the absolute full moon, so I've got the full 23 vision range bonus. So one to two more days of reading, and then we'll uh, we'll head into town. Hopefully, not to instantly die. I want to know what's going on with the map memory. I'm having all sorts of problems with map memory lately. I mean, why am I not being able to memorize this section right here? <laughs> I mean, map memory is on, but I'm constantly having issues with map memory, just not not working so I don't know what's going on with it something's not quite doing right <laughs> all right um, yeah <laughs> leaky map memory <laughs> that could be it that could be a, a hidden uh, hidden negative trait that I've got leaky map memory all right more reading more interruptions I need I need more bandaging Need to make sure we try to maintain that. So let's uh, let's boil up some more bandages. Another twelve. That'll be two more full wrap ups, and then we're gonna boil them. All right, and then we're gonna apply it. This would be another thing I think would be nice if we had. Uh, an option or a hotkey on this screen that just said 
all. <laughs> I mean, if, uh, just getting to this screen, so it's 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 not going to mix different kinds of bandages or anything, and it'll only work if you have enough for all of them. So you got to have six of whatever you're trying to do or whatever you need. And then I wish I had a hotkey that I could just say all, instead of having to do this then hit a then go all the way down pick it then pick the next one i mean it would save so many key presses if i could just say all so there you go pr i'm gonna go i'm gonna go put that in save me some more key presses i'm a big fan of anybody that saves me key presses my keyboard thanks you all right uh let's go read it's not really anything else to do at the moment I really want to get my first aid to eight and then go double check the CBM removal percentage. We've got an auto dock on this floor, so we'll just pop on down and uh, find out what our numbers look like. Alright, there's seven. Can we get to eight before I have to go sleepy time? Finish it! I don't care if I have four intelligence. There we go! Hey, we've accomplished one big thing! <laughs> we have first aid to eight. The long, painful way. Alright, we'll go to sleep, and first thing when we wake up, we'll go check the, uh, see what our percentages are for removing CBMs. The dangerous part is, um, that if we critically fail and we take a big hit to our hit points, It'll take me all of my medical supplies to get our health back up. Um, so it's it's a pretty big deal <laughs> to, to, to try to maximize our abilities before we make that attempt. Alright, slate. And uh, I'm going to have to do another complete round. Good thing I don't need to do anything except for the boils. Alright, we're up to very good for boiled bandages. That's very good. Ha ha, ha ha. Alright, um, go ahead and do the earplugs. Take another dose of Thorazine, which is doing god awful nothing. And let's try to sleep. Oh my goodness, we're hitting full health bars and then we're not. <laughs> it was we, we had full health bars so close. So close. Might be that with a very good status, the boiled bandages are now enough to keep up. As long as I just keep slathering them on at all times, wake or sleep, it might be enough to keep ahead of the acid, finally. All right, 8.30 in the morning, still not quite to a full moon, which is fine. Uh, we're still hydrated. We're into down a point because of the minimal pain from the acid. Can't do much about that beyond taking an aspirin, which will immediately get uh, removed as soon as I take another acid discharge. Um, let's go find out how our percentage is. Let's uh, get the headlamp going, and we've got an auto dock straight south of me. So, I've got books to raise electronics. We could do another round of electronics skill. But the benefits to uh, changing the numbers is, is going to get lower and lower as I go through the... Oh, 
Oh, that's right. That's that wrestler again. Hey there, wrestler. <laughs> All right. And unfortunately, it's not a bad nurse, we found out. We were hoping it was a bad nurse that would rip my CBMs out. It's not. All right, this is our good opportunity. So we've got uh, eight first aid. That is the primary skill for CBM removal. And uh, we've got eight intelligence. I can't do much about this. Used to be we could artificially inflate our intelligence with various drugs and things, but um, those days are gone. So I'm not going to bother trying. So eight int. See what our numbers look like. Uninstall. What are we up to? Oh, crap. I didn't bring any anesthetic. <laughs> Damn it. Forgot I pulled the stuff out of here. All right, I'll be right back. I know you all wanted to listen to the bongo player there, so. All right, let's try this again. Still eight intelligence. Uninstall. What are our numbers? I'm hoping for at least. What do you think? Before I look, before I look, let's take a poll. What would you consider a, a number that you'd be willing to try to uninstall at? What percentage? 10% fail rate? 50% fail rate? 80% fail rate? And we're talking about the major ones that'll actually affect me. What what number would you go with in these circumstances? 95. <laughs> now the number you're giving me is the fail rate percent that you're willing to uh, to risk to try to get out leaky bionic, uh, itchy metal thing, and acid discharge. 99%. Sure you would. <laughs> Well, the bad news is it's almost impossible to get the numbers below about 30% fail rate. It's extremely difficult to get it lower than about 30. So anybody that's saying lower than 30, you're, you're playing a, a pretty loose, easy game if you can uh, manage to push it below 30. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. The numbers I'm seeing are mostly hovering between kind of 30 and 50% range. I think my my point for these major attempts would probably be I'd be willing to give it a try even possibly up to 75%. And the reason I say that is because the thing you fear is just the critical failure. If I fail but have no effect, or at least only a minor effect, then we're still okay. Um, and I can make another attempt. It's only the big failure that does huge damage that we fear. So I'm willing to take the risk or the chance to get out one of these really annoying damn bionics. And the first one that's got to go is the acid discharge. So I think I'd be willing to try 75%. I think that's that's kind of where I would land. Um, so let's hope we're we're below that at first eight eight, without me having to spend another week down here getting interrupted nonstop trying to get my electronic skill up. All right, what do we see? <laughs> 77. <laughs> well, I'm not allowed to try. Sorry, we're 2% higher than my number. <laughs> uh, you bastard leaky or acid leaking bionic. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's hard. <laughs> That's with maxed out first aid skill. The only thing I can do is keep raising my electronics and my computer and then by a miracle find a doctor's badge so I can have the uh, the nurse help me out so yeah <laughs> what would what what are the other ones so itchy metal thing hey only 44 percent maybe I'll go for that one first leaky at 65 like I said I'm I'm less concerned about the leaky right now because I think my obesity is still having more of an effect than the leaky bionic is Ah, uh, the noisemaker. Ooh, how about the ankles and the noisemaker? Because that's what's worrying me most. We got a 50% on the ankles and the 44 on the noisemaker, huh? Hmm. No, nope, badge is not craftable. See, the reason I have to make the trip into town is to get the computer books. I can't raise my computer skill, so... I don't have an option because we didn't find any of the books. 
not a one. <laughs> so I need to I need to sneak into town to get the computer books to improve our chances to get the rest of this nonsense out. So I'm thinking maybe noise maker and ankles just live with the other ones for the moment. I'm not going to try leaky uh, the acid at uh, 77. I might be willing to try the uh, itchy metal thing though. 44% for Itchy, 44% for Noisemaker, and uh, the Ankles would be the only other one. So, let's um, let's go for the Itchy. <laughs> By like nostril. I think I'm going to try the Itchy. So, one hour, 162 milliliters. I've actually, I, I might actually run out of uh, anesthetic. <laughs> we're going to have to make so many attempts. Because we're going to fail a lot of these. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and make an attempt at forty-four percent. Because, like I said, the only thing I can do right now is to uh, to improve this is to raise my electronic skill, and it's the least of the three skills. It's weighted the least, so it might, if I raise it to eight, improve things by. I, I don't know what the number is. It's maybe not even as much as one percent per level. Um, so I'd still end up with like a thirty-five percent probably chance to uh, fail this, even if I spend the time to max. So. I think it's worth, given my current situation, giving this a try. So here's the danger, if you're not aware. Removing CBMs is dangerous business, and um, if you fail and you critically fail the, the, the roll for, for the failure, you can damage yourself between 30 and 80 hit points. So cancel this. <clears throat> so here's what you want to look at. Strength 11. I planned on this situation, so I made sure we ran with a strength, somewhat of a strength build this time. So we've got 93 base hit points. So we've taken some damage, but it shouldn't be enough that puts us anywhere near the danger level. So if I crit fail and take the max damage, 80, we should still survive. It'll be a mess <laughs> to recover from uh, with our obesity and our low health stat and so on, but um, we'll survive it. So what I'm hoping for is either a success, of course, or a failure with no damage so I can try again. But we've only got two anesthetic kits. We've got 6,000 milliliters of anesthetic. So it's going to take a whole ton of it to get all these things out. Now, you can no longer use drugs to raise your intelligence. So, used to be you could smoke some cigarettes, you could take some Adderall, and you temporarily boost your intelligence, like four points. Those days are gone. They removed that, like, I don't know, five, six months ago. So, can't do that anymore. You can still do it in stable. 0.d stable, but uh, you haven't been able to do it in experimental for quite a while. Yes, Magicalism does have some spells that can raise your, your intelligence uh, that would help, but uh, I don't have any of those spells, so it's a, it's a moot point. So I can't affect this situation short of making that trip into town. But um, yeah, what we're hoping for is a, uh, a non-crit fail. <laughs> if I fail and you suddenly see chunk and all my hit point bars disappear, you know that I have both failed the install and then rolled really poorly on the, uh, the effects. Alright, so we're going for the leaky. No, we're going for the uh, the itchy metal thing. It's one of the things that is annoying me the most, the non-stop scratching. And uh, it's affecting our healing ability and my nerves and my, <laughs> my mental health from all the interruptions. So we're going to go for the itchy metal thing. Then I think the noisemaker followed by the ankles. Assuming we get that far, if we don't take enough damage that I have to stop. Because what's going to happen, as soon as I take a single hit from the damage part, even if it's the lowest end, 30, i got to immediately stop. I can't make more attempts or I'll run the risk of breaking a, a limb or killing myself. So, Alright, here we go. Itchy metal thing, 44% fail chance. Yes, I am sure. We got it. We got it. Yes. Yes. Hey, Rapuri. <laughs> Thanks again for the cheering this evening. Oh, every bit helps. Every bit helps, literally. <laughs> Being a, a small channel, quote unquote, everything helps. All right, so we successfully got it out. Look, it's on the ground. Faulty, itchy metal thing. Ooh, nasty. Get it out of there. So one of my annoyances is gone, and now we get to try again. All right, uninstall. Next up, uh, Noisemaker. 
If I can get rid of the noisemaker and the ankles, it vastly improves our chances of successfully infiltrating town to get to the library so I can get the books for the computers. So. Hey there, Delcama. <laughs> Thank you. Also, one more. One more. We get a hike train. <laughs> we each need three people. Either tip 100 bits or uh, do a, a sub. We get the old hype train so people can earn some uh, some emotes. I don't, I don't think I've seen you guys use any of the emotes. Does anybody have the emotes? I'm not sure I actually get the emotes, even though it tells me I do. I don't see them. Uh, I'm not sure where they're stored. Oh, no, I do get some. Yeah, I do have the uh, hype griffin and the hype oni. Alright, we're going for the noisemaker first, I think. Another 44% chance. See if we can break my legs when we fail this one. Oh, we failed. All right, so we failed the operation, but I, was that, is that damage from the operation failure or is that just the acid damage buildup? No, I actually took damage. So we, we did take some minor damage, but man, it must've been minor. I, 30 points should have ticked off these other bars. I wonder if it's 30, 30 points. I'm not sure how they distribute the damage. I don't know if it's 30 points to all associated body parts. I'm not sure what's going on. Or is this the... No, it didn't include head. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on here. We fell asleep. Says the removal's a failure. Then we instantly got damage numbers. But my understanding is the damage is supposed to be 30 to 80. But now I'm a little curious if the 30 to 80 is then spread across the various body parts. So if it rolls 30, is it like 4 here and 7 here? And I don't know how it actually determines. Or if it's 30 to all. It can't be 30 to all because there's no way those bars would still be like that. The one thing I don't like when I'm doing this kind of a run, I prefer to have self-aware traits so I know my exact hit points. <laughs> I don't like playing guessing games with the bar system when it's death is on the line. Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty of anesthetic. We have 6,000 milliliters total. So you can see how much it's taking per. Some of them take a lot. Like that one takes 10% of my entire supply for one attempt. That's where I get worried. <laughs> if I keep failing and failing and failing, we'll burn out all my, my anesthetic available. But all I need to do is there's about five or six that I really, really need to get out. And after that, I don't care. After that, the rest of the negative effects I can just deal with over time. So it's just uh, the, the noisemakers, the two I mentioned, and then the three bad, really bad ones. Once I get those five out, the rest of them I can live with and we can remove at later dates. Um, I don't think I can afford to try again. Uh, one bar down with 111 or no with 93 star base that would be what it's not even 20 per so we'd be at like 80 yeah I think my torso is too low I think I run the risk of um, of just death if I try to uh, pick out again unfortunately no, not a, I'm not doing it again for science. <laughs> no, thanks. We'll we'll go read our book for a bit, and if we heal back up to a partial bar, I'll give it another try then. We might be just right on the border of the bar disappearing. Man, I can't stand not being able to see my exact hit points. <laughs> for these circumstances. I don't mind it normally, but... I need to know the numbers for this one. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go back up. Uh, I shouldn't have had my headlamp on that whole damn time. Couple times now I've had that headlamp on while doing stuff like that. Silly. Alright, uh let's see. Get early start on electronics or work on the other stuff. I think I need to work on mechanics. In case I get an opportunity for a vehicle. So we're gonna work on mechanics next. I need at least like level two mechanics, just so I can do the early basic stuff with uh, vehicles. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind if the nurse escapes. 
not likely I'm going to find a, a badge. That's the only time she'd be useful is if I managed to get a badge anyway. And there shouldn't be anything left, theoretically, that can hurt the nurse bot anyway. But, um... All right, so turn again, now that back off. I got no bandaging going on, so I've got to reset the bandages, which means I need to go make some more, which means I got to turn this back on again. <laughs> Let's do it in the group. Whoops. Group of. Oh crap! I am I'm running out of rags. Oh, blasphemy! Come here, axe. That'll be enough for a little while. Alright, let's do uh Gotta do them in batches of three to match it up in <laughs> the boiling one. For whatever reason, takes three at a time. All right, uh, or just keep crafting multiples of three. Whatever. So we got boiled bandages. That's three, three times through the process. I'm gonna have to go get some more water here pretty quick. Yeah. All right. Let's put them on everything again. It's just pretty much a permanent <laughs> process until I get that acid out. I think I'll go ahead and sprinkle some antiseptic powder on the torso. If we read and we see that actually go up a bar or so, we'll uh, we'll run back down and try another, make another attempt. I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna let it go a little further before I. Wow, look at that. Full full torso bar. Stop reading, yes. Alright, let's go make our attempt right now. Take every opportunity. Get these things out of here. <clears throat> Whoops. <laughs> Accidentally opened a little door there. Uh, it's got a live turret <laughs> waiting to shoot me. <coughs> huh. Okay, no pain. So what are we working on? We're working on the noisemaker at 44. Attempt number two. We got it. All right, yay! If we can just get the next noise thing out. Faulty noisemaker, goodbye. Oops. Uninstall. Next up is the uh, squeaky ankles. 50%. Uh, see, that's what I don't understand, though, Dode, because I failed the install, I took damage. But there is no way that the damage it gave me was 30 on all the various body parts. That's what I don't understand. We had one body part with the bar completely gone. All the other body parts looked like this. Even though it said you take damage in all these various body parts. There's absolutely no way those were 30. So, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't a crit fail? Alright, so there's two different statuses. Standard fail versus crit fail. All right, that's fine. As long as I know there's two different statuses, one with low-level regular damage and then one with a crit fail. It's a crit fail that I fear. Do, do, do. So my info is right. I just wasn't remembering that uh, you take regular damage and or crit damage, two different, uh, two different amounts. All right, so uh, yeah, squeaky ankles. If we can get this out on the 50-50, our chances for our trip into town to the library go way, way up. So let's hope they're they're friendly here. 50%? Oh, my ankles, my ankles! We failed. Yeah, we failed. 
Uh, guess what kind of fail that was? <laughs> Owie! <laughs> ah, there you go. Demonstration of a crit failure during a Sibium uninstall. <laughs> The good news is, <laughs> after my last round and round with these processes, I discovered and we reported and got fixed that the feet were double dipping on the leg hit points, <laughs> and hands were double dipping on arms, and eyes and mouth were triple dipping on the head <laughs> for damage. So you were actually susceptible of uh, 80, or no, uh, 90 to 240 damage on your head <laughs> when your crit failed. All right, at least those days are gone. So yeah, well, we're not going into town this evening, so we we succeeded one and we crit failed one. No, I was I was careful for a reason. We, 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 I sometimes know what I'm talking about, and <laughs> we were prepared for this eventuality. Can you break your leg on purpose and use the auto dock to fix it <laughs> for science? Uh, no thanks. We wouldn't have any, well, we'd have a little bit of a problem recovering, but uh, the auto dock also splints legs for two bars of progress, so they give you a pretty big leg up. It'll only take like two days of sleep and reading to uh, to get our leg back from a break, so it's not that big a deal when you're when you're prepared for it. All right, uh, so obviously we are now going to uh, antiseptic powder our, our leg. So there we go. We've got a great disinfectant going on with very good bandaging. So we're going to get that leg back, I think, probably in a day. It's not that big a setback. So we're okay. Hopefully quick enough that we can make another attempt in the morning. Between reading through the day now and sleeping, I think we'll be back to full strength for a morning try. Yeah, what would suck would be the uh, the acid. <laughs> the, the acid with a broken uh, limb would be a little rough. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright, back to our reading. Actually, let me check temp, because now we've got a damaged leg. I need to make sure. Meg 19. Alright, we're okay. You gotta be really cautious when you've got limbs like this that you don't forget to check your temperature status. Because you can, could take the damage, get really close to having it broke, then it's susceptible to temperature more than it normally is because of the damage, and uh, you end up with it getting cold frostbite <laughs> while you're doing something and not paying attention. And then it breaks while you're uh, while you're doing stuff. That's always fun. All right, let's read a book. See how much we heal. And we start right away with some acid. Thanks, game. Can I have some more, please? Come on. I'm a little nervous on that left leg. I want to see a bar of health there. No? You're not, you're not even give me a partial bar? Really? I got all that done and you didn't give me a partial bar? Hmm. <laughs> Doubling up on the acid. And more acid. Well, alrighty then. We're really not going to get one, any progress. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get sleepy time healing. I thought we would get caught up a little better. Alright, we lost our bandaging bonus while we were reading, but I thought we'd get caught up a little better. I was wrong. <laughs> I was just completely wrong. Alright. Do I have the next mechanics book? I do not. Alright. So, we're done with mechanics for now. Have some more water. And, uh, just go to sleep. Fortunately, we haven't really changed our sleep interruptions much. Oh, actually, no, we did. I forgot. We got, uh, we got one of the nasty ones out. <clears throat> so we don't have the itchy metal thing driving me berserk. So we should get more consistent healing now that it's just the, uh, the the acid discharge constantly waking me up. So, your plugs back in. Make sure we put a regular bandage on that. That.
Alright, so bandage everywhere, disinfect just on the two that needed the most. Come on, Bar. I want it to be far enough that I can try again in the morning. Don't make me go a couple of days because we've got a full moon. I gotta make the tent while we got the vision bonus. It's gonna be close, I think. Yeah, now I'm gonna have a problem getting back to sleep. Ah, we might have made it if we had just not gotten that acid right there. Now we're just tossing and turning. Um. We're not going to get enough healing, I don't think, while we're awake. Not dark yet. All right, let's do... Um... Loose nations interrupting my <clears throat> or lowering my intelligence. Yeah, it's louder stuff. What I could do is try a uh, different body part while this one finishes healing up. Doesn't solve my sound problem. We're gonna read for a little bit and see if we can get that little that extra bar though. Yeah, we got it. Come on. Alright, now it's night time. Problem being, if I fail, crit fail again, we once again won't be able to move into town. All right, we're going to try it anyway. Worth the risk. We got to get it done regardless. <clears throat> All right, it's good. Uninstall. Can't risk the seventy-seven <laughs> percent. Just can't do it. Uh oh, hat wars going on. I didn't notice. Yeah, focus has no effect on the actual reading, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I haven't checked our weight since uh, I think the last day or two. You'll have to let me know on the hat war. <laughs> let me know when it's finished. Uh-oh, uh we're at double off? Ooh. <laughs> the Mad Hatters are going to win the war? <clears throat> Alright, well, you guys settle out. Oh, now we're back to even. 
Uh, here goes squeaky ankle. Squeaky ankle attempt number three. I think we, what, failed without effect or minor effect, then crit failed. I think this is the third. I think we got it. Hey, hey, that nurse was giving me uh, self-aware. <laughs> I saw my hit points flash. I saw the actual numbers while that was going on.